The Long Lost Family has started more emotional reunions on the way. Tonight, we meet uh, sisters Sarah Dunkley and Carol Murphy, both abandoned at birth, both sharing the same mother and father, both adopted by loving families and completely unaware that the other one existed. That is, until Davina paid a visit. Mm, uh, amazing news. I mean, you've got to know it's big news when Davina knocks on your door, <laughs> haven't you? We're very happy to have both Sarah and Carol here with us now. Welcome. Good Thank morning. you for coming in today. So, um, same question really to both of you. When you were growing up, when you were little, uh, how much did you know? How much did your, your families tell you? Um, I knew from about five years old. Um, mm -hmm. I remember actually asking my mum, um, did I come from inside your tummy? That was, that's actually what I asked her and she said actually I was a bit special because I came from another lady's tummy and that was all I needed at that point. Mm. And then just as, as I got a bit older, I asked more and more questions, but it was just a very gradual process. How about you, Carol? Yeah, you? more or less the same. I knew from a very young age that I was adopted, um, had a really happy upbringing and didn't really think much about it um, until I was older. And um, I've always wondered whether I had a half sibling. Yeah. Um, never expected to find a, a full one. Well, you, you tried to have a look around and you didn't have very much success, but, Sarah, you did find out a little bit of information, didn't you? I did. Um, I requested my birth records mm -hmm. um, and it just... I didn't get them till um, it was probably about 15 or so years ago. Yeah. And in that, I had little sort of tidbits about our mother and sort of a, a description of her and it also said in the notes that she'd had a previous uh, child about two years earlier ah. so that sort of made me think oh this this could be so I've you got knew a sibling. there was a sibling yeah. well I thought so but given the rest of the information was false so her name her address and everything else was false well she was said uh, she said she was um, on one set of records Barbara Milliner and mm -hmm. the dresses in Paris and Barnes mm -hmm. uh, in London. And, uh, and with Carol, it was uh, Susan Johnson um, with an address in, uh, in Exeter. Mm. So how does that feel when you meet that dead end? I just think every time I try to do a bit of research and you, you hit a dead end, you just have to park it and you just have to move on and think, I'm never going to get anywhere with this. And, and that's exactly what I thought up until DNA came into play. And it was you that approached the, the TV production company? I did. I, I approached them a, a long, long time ago, before the DNA results were around. Yeah. And they weren't able to go any further with the story because, obviously, there wasn't anything to go on mm. at all. And it wasn't until the DNA records came in that they were able to do something. And what made you think that you were going to add your DNA to the database? It was the beginning of lockdown and my two daughters were home and... They talked me into doing it because we were just all at home together and um, they just wanted to know the other half of their heritage. So they talked me into doing it and I thought, well, OK, I'll do it. Did it, forgot about it and then got the results back. And the matches were there and at the very top was a 100% full sibling. Wow. And yeah. how does that feel? I mean, from going, not knowing anything... Yeah about that, about your sort of heritage, really. How, how does it feel to have that confirmed in black and white on a well, bit I, of paper? Well, I couldn't quite take it in. Yeah. And it was only, obviously, when the researcher contacted me via Ancestry DNA that um, the story came out. And, yeah. And, and then you get, uh, you get the call saying, oh, yeah. Davina's coming to see you. Yes. And as soon as you get that call, you know that that she's not coming to say, I'm really sorry, we can't do anything with your search, thank you and goodbye. You know that there's going to be something. You don't know whether it's good news or bad news, because it you, can sometimes be bad yeah, news. Yeah, so you don't know what it is. It could be we found a half-sibling, we, we found your parents. It could be absolutely anything. And I don't know why, but I've never thought about a full sibling before. As ridiculous as that seems, I'd thought, thought about every other possibility, yeah. but a full sibling hadn't really entered my head, so, yeah. So, you find out the good news. You're then informed, like you said, the researcher calls you and lets you know. Um, both parties have to be willing to, to meet, want to meet, and that desire was definitely there from the both of you. What was that moment like the first time that you got to see each other? Because it was October last year, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, it was surreal. It was amazing. Um, it was daunting, obviously, because the cameras are there. And, I mean, we were lucky enough that we actually first met off-camera. They gave us a few moments to sort of just meet. Um, 
And I think as soon as the cameras had gone, we were both able to sort of go, oh, yeah, great, you know, we yeah. can just sort of relax and be ourselves. And that's really when we realised that we just... There was something there between us. When you look at... I mean, I, I love the show. It's so brilliant. And you watch it and think, oh, all that wasted time. Yeah. Because <laughs> the, all the time that you could have been together, if only you'd known. And what's even more ironic is you were 30 miles apart. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, Sarah grew up in Eastbourne and I grew up in Kent. And we used to go to Eastbourne on family days out. And there's a photo of Sarah on the beach at Eastbourne and it's a separate photo of me on the yeah. beach at Eastbourne. So you could have walked past each other. Absolutely. Oh, my God, that's mad. Absolutely. Mm. So you have an awful lot to catch up on. I mean, you, you spent the time meeting... Your extended families now, so not quite because of COVID, we haven't had the opportunity oh to. But that's happening this Slowly, weekend. Yeah, this I weekend, is yeah, going to me. Oh yeah, gosh, yeah. so that must be lovely yeah. for the kids and all yes. that sort of thing to get together. Yeah, absolutely. And and now lockdown hopefully is coming. You know, we're coming through the other side. We're going to be seeing a lot more of each other because Carol loves Brighton, and you know, I want to know more about Kent. So yeah, we'll yeah. be spending time together. Well, you're. Mum and Dad are still with us, um, mm -hmm. which is lovely. Uh, Mum is a work in progress, mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what happens there. Yeah. Dad has said that he might quite like to, to meet you both. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, how essential is that in putting the final pieces of that jigsaw together? Um, if it happens, it'd be fantastic, and, and both Carol and I really would like that to happen. Mm. But we're we're really content with where we're where we are. Mm. Um, we've had a lot of things answered, um, and it does sort of complete the picture and the mystery really behind it. So, what is what what have you found out about their story? What led to this? So we knew they were a couple. Um, so that was nice to know, that it wasn't just a couple of, sort of flings, if you like. They were actually a couple. And it sounds like they were a couple for quite a while, so it wasn't a short-term relationship. Mm -hmm. So we do know that. But other than that, we, yeah, we, we can't say a lot more at the moment, okay. unfortunately. Yeah, no, that's fair <laughs> enough, that's fair enough. And uh, these are always, you know, sort of, when new things like this come up, it's sort of... Yeah. You've got to carefully pick your way mm -hmm. through. Nobody wants to be it's upset. Early days, I think. Uh, yeah, very early yeah. days. Yeah. And, for, and for you... Um, knowing that mum and dad are, are out there. Is that an essential part of the jigsaw or are you just happy to have your sister? I think the same as Sarah. It's, it's really nice to know what actually happened finally and to piece together some of the jigsaw. But it's been so fantastic meeting Sarah. Mm. If we do meet up with them, then lovely. That's really lovely. But it's obviously we'll go with their wishes and and see, see how it happens. unfolds. Mm. For now, though, how lovely to have a sister. I mean, how really wonderful. Know, I know. You never knew yeah. you had. Uh, Long Lost Family is tonight at 9pm on ITV. And thank you both for coming in. That's Enjoy okay. this weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. lovely. Love yeah. to the families as well. Thank you. Thank, thank you so thank much. You.